more demo that we have, uh, or a set of demos, by Eric Rosenbaum um, of Lifelong Kindergarten. Um, and there's a couple of them here, but why don't we start with the Makey Makey? Well, why don't we start with the fact that we went to high school together? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, Let's go right? way back. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So speaking of Kickstarter, actually this first demo is also a Kickstarter um, baby, right? Well, let's, let's show them a little bit, and then they can decide if they want to help us out. Okay. Um, so, I guess I misheard the name of your band, because I brought the Grand Fruit Orchestra <laughs> instead. You may have noticed that we have some... Oh! So, some, um, some bananas and limes on the table, and that's because I'm going to use the Makey Makey Project to turn them into a musical instrument. And actually, while I'm doing that, if you don't mind, Amanda, I'd like to set you up with one of these. Okay. That is a pipe cleaner and some Play-Doh. It will okay. all become clear momentarily, don't worry. Um, so if you just, yeah, make yourself a little wristband. Over here on the table is the Makey Makey. It's a little circuit board. And what I'm doing with this wire and the Play-Doh is plugging myself into it. So I, now I'm, I'm connected to it. And now I should just be able to... Oh, demoitis. <laughs> oh, man. Of course that happens. There we go. It wouldn't, wouldn't be great without a little drama, right? Um, so now, <laughs> so now, so I'll let Amanda jam out a little bit more on that, but you got the idea. Banana, piano, wonderful. Uh, and then, of course, the limes are for uh, playing percussion on. You play drums, okay. So, this is the banana and the limes, the banana piano. But I wanted to point out that the project is um, not just about the banana piano. Makey Makey is an invention kit for everyone. The idea is you can make things like this yourself using the Makey Makey board. So you just plug in your everyday materials to it, and then you can control any software that you've already got on your computer. And that's because Makey Makey pretends it's a keyboard and mouse. So you could just plug your bananas in and then fire up GarageBand and you're playing the piano. So can I ask a question? Because um, I haven't actually seen the Kickstarter. What comes with the kit when you order it? So what you get in the box is Makey Makey and some of these alligator clips, a whole okay. bunch of them, uh, and just the USB cable to plug it into your computer. Right, but that's all stuff that anyone could get anywhere. This is what you really want, and then you can enhance it or do whatever. I mean, but do you have to use a certain kind of alligator clip, or are these the kind of things you could use by any store? Just regular alligator clips. But wow. the bigger idea is that with Makey Makey, the, the whole world is your construction kit. So it doesn't come with the bananas because... It'll work with just about anything that's even a little bit conductive. Well, and mailing bananas, not so good. Bit of a problem, yeah. Um, so, you know, we're using Play-Doh and bananas and limes, but you could use your grandmother, your cat, some aluminum <laughs> foil, a penny, rain. Um, all those kinds of things will work with it. Here, I want to make, you I wanna make a song with the grandmother and the rain. <laughs> and poop. And poop. <laughs> it's it's oh, poop compatible. Yeah. Is it? Well, poop is pretty conductive. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, well, okay, lay a beat Just one more little thing. <laughs> if you touch one of the limes and then she high fives you, you know what I mean. So just oh, like, oh, we could become an instrument. <gasps> oh! oh, wait, wait. Okay, ready? Keep your hands up. We need someone to freestyle. <laughs> change the world. Thank you. I'm glad you can <laughs> see the bigger picture. Well, the things you there. could do with live music and this shit is out of control. Well, um, if you just back us on Kickstarter, <laughs> you can get your own. Uh, um, yeah. So, I might buy wait, some in bulk. That's not nice. all. Believe it or not, Eric has also 
redefine music again in yet another way. Yeah, and a commercial break. Um, soon we're going to be getting to the part where I am fielding your questions and playing. If you're just tuning in or you've tuned in like in the last 10 or 15 minutes, we're taking questions via Twitter. Just either at me or use the hashtag AskAFP. Um, and we've got people fielding the questions. And um, try to keep the questions to the Media Lab, the Kickstarter project, the new record coming out. Don't bother asking questions like, when are you coming to Chicago? Because I won't answer them. Um, but if you want to ask these guys questions about what you've been seeing, ask those too, and we'll pick a couple of those. And whatever relevant project will come on camera and answer your question. Um, and also, if you have badass ideas about how the Media Lab and me can merge, yes. send them. <laughs> send mm -hmm. those. And maybe we'll just read a couple of them off. That'd be great. Okay, Groovy. Okay, so what if you could make your own instrument and recombobulate it real time to suit the riffs and the cycles and the waves of your imagination? Well, now you can. <laughs> What's this? So uh, what I'll show you is called Melody Morph. It's an iPad app. I'm still working on it, so it's a work in progress. But the idea is, like you said, with a piano, the keys are in a fixed arrangement. So what if you could kind of blow that apart and put them anywhere you wanted? So on the screen here, I have this palette of objects. And I can position them on the screen and then play them like an instrument. So I can rearrange them spatially into a melody to represent that melody however I want. Um, or I can lay them under my fingers to make my own kind of personalized piano. So I'll show you a couple of examples of what you can do with it. Um, this thing is a kind of strumming instrument that I constructed. So I just positioned all those notes so that when I hold down this thing, I can slide across them. So the idea is not that you can play that instrument, but that you can make it with Melody Morph. Uh, and I'll just show you one other example. That one. Uh, oh, yeah. And so this shows a few more of the features. You can annotate things and record things. So here, uh, these objects are electric piano uh, notes. And they form a kind of accompaniment. And then there's a bass line. So I've recorded those into these little objects that I can use to play um, a little impro improvisation using these notes that are related to those, to that chord. And there's three different areas, so I can jam over chord changes. Uh, like this. That's Morph. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Cool. And so. One great thing, one other final thing about Melody Morph is uh, it's all kinds of fun to play with if you have a couple of iPads. And we've been experimenting with jamming a little bit. And, and Eric has just figured out how to connect Melody Morph to MIDI out so that you can start having a whole range of different instruments. And Amazing. for that matter, you know, trigger video, do all kinds of stuff, feed the cat. Why not? <laughs> um, so you guys, I've got, are we back over here again? Yeah, um, so thanks Eric. We've got...